some issue, had a few drinks, maybe had a couple of smokes, drifts, you know, just one meter across the thing, and so you've got a different soul. You'll be in heaven somewhere. You people say, can, can I guarantee this? Well, I can't even guarantee you get home, let alone this is going to work. But it's amazing the trust you have with someone coming at you from the other direction. Now, I don't want you to trust me at all. I just want you to trust yourself. But what will happen is in your trust of yourself, the knowledge, the information you get will resonate. You know, there'll be a truth that's overwhelming. When you get that, the, the center of town's the center of town. Doesn't matter which direction you come from, you'll get to the center of town. But most trust is based on your own trust. If you're untrusting of others, you'll find a lot of untrustworthy people out there. I find a lot of trustworthy people. I'm very trusting of myself. And there's another rule here, a law, that, that applies to a lot of things. It's about giving away things. If you want a good friend, soul, be a good friend. If you, wanna, if you want love, you give love away. If you want wealth, what I've discovered, you give it away and it comes back. Everything you give away, you always get back. If you give trust away, you get it back. Now, we have a word for what we call trust in God and tie up your camels. In other words, it's, a, it's about 90% trust and 10% tying up. But you don't just, here's my wallet, help yourself, go for it. But we are talking about trust, aren't we? We're talking about trusting a guidance system greater than who you are. And we're talking about some very factual things here about some property. And I want you to see when we do the real estate, how you can trust a market. It's always right, even when it's wrong. Despite what the analysts say, if it's going down, it keeps on going. Despite what they say, but the values, it doesn't matter. It will keep on going. It's always right when it's wrong, it's right. When it's right, it's right. So a lot of our trading that we do is we trust the market. It's always right. Is that a different mindset? Very different. The difference between that is when you buy and hold, and you're holding something, and you're hoping it's going up. Well, it doesn't always go up. You can't trust that to do that because it may go down. That's a different situation. That's why we trade. We buy and sell, sell and buy. We do different things. We have a different mindset to this, and that's what I teach my son and my daughter. The good thing about this, th some of these words are a bit foreign, and although you might think, Joe, I don't know how to do this, they will flow with you because all of you do amazing things. All of you do miracles. All of you do stuff that... So what do you do? You're a farmer. So you... He's got to be a stock and station agent. He's got to be a a fencer, he's got to be a mechanic, he's got to be uh, a, a, an accountant, he's got to buy low, sell high, he's got to be a trader, you know, and he does all of these things. And you see how, how much talent is required for that. Huge. And he's under pressure from his father, don't lose the fa farm son or whatever the story is. And was his father's position different? Was it easier, simpler, whatever, you know? Lowest yield you can get is on a farm. And the job is never done. You know, is that never finish? Ever. And people work seven days a week and, and run out of money and the, the peril of the, of, the, of the weather and they're under tremendous stress and you ask them why they do this and they say lifestyle. Amazing. So there's got to be a different way even for farming. Has there been a change in farming in the last hundred years? 90% of our population used to be on the farm. 10% not. Complete reverse. They've worked out technology that can produce more. If we said 100 years ago, all of you are going to lose your jobs. So how's it possible? You all did. In that air industry, huge leverage occurred. Mechanization, a whole range of things. And we're in the same change now. And it's a question whether you're still the farmer hanging on to a farm that doesn't work in this market or you've made the change. You've done this move. So what am I saying? I'm saying there's some ways here to do this. And if I can teach little kids, I can teach you. But it's obviously going to be a different strategy to the one you're currently using. Let's talk about some of the strategies we're going to use. We're going to talk about real estate, shares, and business. I'll give you the five steps that we need to take to see if you can trust yourself. The first step, you want to write these down. Number one. Make a decision to have abundance in all areas of your life. Number one, make a decision to have abundance in all areas of your life. 
Make a decision to have abundance in all areas of your life. Now, you think that's a simple thing? Really, most people don't make that decision. They wait to see how it's going to turn out. And often they make decisions, and they call them good ones or bad ones, depending on how they turn out. If they make a decision that didn't work, they call it a bad one. If they make a decision that does work, they call it a good one. Imagine making a decision that's a good one before you started. It's going to be a good decision. You're going to have abundance in all areas of your life. And when we say that, we're not just talking about money. We're talking about your health, your well-being. We're also talking about your relationships. Is it fun if you've got all the money in the world but you're sick? Or if you've got all the money and just by yourself and lonely? And it's not much fun to be lonely and or having a great relationship and plenty of health and having no money. There's a balance here, isn't there? And that's what we teach. One life's all about one life. This is the life that you have. 20% of our program is on, on uh, emotional fitness. 80% is on financial intelligence, how to do this, how to do that, how to get your taxes right, how to do all these things. That 20% on emotional fitness is worth 80% of the program. Does that make sense? So to put this first point down, to make a decision today to have abundance in all areas of your life, an example financially would be, e.g., five forms of income. Five forms of income. Now, what would be five forms of income? Real estate, shares, business could be forms of income. None of them are your job. Adding a new income stream each year, getting ready for the switchover, making a decision, have abundance in all areas of your life. Does this make sense? Now, some people here love their job, and we just say three days a week is good. You can be very passionate for three days. It gives you more life to do.